Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. To equip the ministers of the next generation. And Ananias' name was not mentioned anywhere else after that time. Who knows whether that was the only assignment Jesus gave him. What made you think that the person that gathers the highest crowd is the one that is in the service of Jesus? As if that can impress a spirit being. Do you know that there will be people that will be blind forever except one of the spokesmen of God encounters? Do you know that you will not even understand yourself except somebody that has received the ability to speak for God? He begins to preach. Then you begin to, even your encounters, you begin to understand. Ah, okay, this is, you will not know yourself. Because the code by which things are written on your life is mystical. And only a man that is speaking from heaven can begin to speak in such a way where you begin to understand your own dealings, you begin to understand your own encounters as if he's speaking to you, as if he knows what you are going through. No, it's not. He doesn't know anything. He's just, he's just speaking his reference from heaven. We went somewhere for a conference and a big minister just came on the podium. He was, he was looking angry. He looked around. He said, you see this shoe? It's 2,000 pounds. You will get there. Ah. I just took my bag and left. He has not seen the body. It's a noise maker. It's a symbol. It has loud sound, but it's no content, no matter. He that has an ear, he will hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. As we press on tomorrow, in my own quota of the presentation, I will show you the true description of what ministry is from the, the perspective of seeing the body of Christ. Anything short of that is not ministry. I've been studying this matter for some time now. I had to go back to my original calling. Okay, what? Yes. And all the encounters I had even before I started preaching every day. To check the original calling. Not the one I gave myself, but the one he gave me. It says, strive towards the rebirth of apostolic Christianity. That means the time that I will be in ministry, the church would have departed from apostolic Christianity. So true apostolic teaching, preaching, praying and prophesying the assignment will be to bring people back into genuine and original Christianity that's number one number two in three, from 300 levels you started telling me that you are going to carry the spirit of Elijah I will give you authority to confront what is going on in the body of Christ that I'm not the one that is responsible for I will give you that authority and you are going to do it by the word of God so that you'll be accurate. And that's the aspect of my ministry I do that I am most hated by fake preachers. But you know what? I am convinced this is my ministry. And as I, when I do it, I go home. There's peace in my heart. My Lord is happy. Yeah, I get a lot of enemies from that, but that's what I was called to do. And I've seen more people delivered from that, that part of my ministry than any other part. Yes more people so i know that the people that hate me are few very few they are insignificant they can be ignored the body of christ is coming there's something god is marshalling his army to accomplish yeah i know i'm not a pastor 
I don't talk like one. I know I am. Hmm? I take. I have weapons that I took people. I am not too refined. Yes, Elijah is like that. Somebody called me and said, the way you are preaching, you will be poor. Nobody will give you money. I say, oh, if only you know who sent me. My, my mission is not to make money. I would have stayed in the oil industry if I wanted money. I had the opportunity to make money. My mission is to serve Jesus. And Jesus did not say I'll be the richest man in my village. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. Are you with me now? We must see the body of Christ. It is not a teaching. It is a life. It is not a doctrine. It's a realm. It's in custody of the Holy Spirit. And if you have not seen that realm, you cannot receive grace to speak to that mystical body. When you begin to speak from Jesus... The body of Christ, the genuine church, the real church can recognize that voice. They can recognize it. The only people that will not recognize it are the ones that are not in the mystical body. But they are in the, our physical churches. Those ones will consider what you are saying offensive. They will consider it something that will destroy their enterprise. I choose to speak for Jesus. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. And I pray that every minister of the gospel that traveled in here, that you will make up your mind as you go back, that all you will do, your preoccupation is that you will be a mouthpiece for Jesus. Like one of the stars that are held in the constellations by his hand, bearing witness of him in your territory and in your generation. Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.